With anything electrical and electronics, there's always modifications that you want to do. This laser engraver, JL-K3020, got it off of eBay. And what I want to do is be able to take and etch thicker pieces of wood. As you can see, it's not the height difference of the laser that matters, it's the height difference of this carriage back here that matters. And as it is, it's not much over half inch as it is right now. So, what's that, three quarter or five eighths? So if you want to take and do thicker pieces of board, you can't do it with this the depth of this tray. So with anything and everything, there's always ways to modify things. There's four screws here, they're countersunk. They have nuts on the bottom of them. I suggest wearing a glove because they got something sticky on the bottom of this tray here. So when you get these four screws out, you, you can hold your hand on it there and get that and you get all four nuts out. Then you want to take and you want to press this way. And then you can lift up and it'll slide out like that. And here's the sticky stuff I was telling you about. I'm not sure what it is. Hopefully it's nothing dangerous. You also want to loosen this up a hair here so you can actually slide this back under. And here are the two trays, the uh, the arm pieces that actually hold up the platform. If you also wanted to take and do glass blocks, this would be another way to do it. Because you should have plenty of clearance here in order to do your glass blocks. Now doing glass and metal, you're going to have to take and do, uh, they have a special paint. And you have to coat that with before you do any etching otherwise it doesn't do any etching we'll talk about that in another video this video we're going to be focusing mainly on adjusting the height of this platform and you can see right here they have two screws here front and back and they have this screw hole here and they have the bottom screw hole here it's also threaded on both sides they have a lower hole so you can put this platform here and that would make the tray I'm guessing another half inch to an inch much closer to an inch lower than what it is now I'm not sure how that would affect the amperage that you need to take for the how dark the board would be or how light it would be so we got to take into effect that when you lower this you might have to adjust this to be higher since you made it lower so I'm going to take a petite rail down to the bottom section and then we'll cut to the next video and we'll see how much distance we gain for the bottom of this carriage here and actually see if it was worth anything because I would like to take and have enough distance here and then do bigger objects like hammers and stuff like that. It'll be a nice little Father's Day gift. Little trinkets and stuff like that. Thicker objects. It's thicker boards. With that adjustment, I just increased my burning level to an inch and three, three eighths. So that made it a lot thicker of a piece that can be engraved. Now this isn't a wood hammer, but it's a hammer nonetheless, and the handle should be about the same equivalent size. And I have just enough clearance over this whole handle. So now I can do larger objects. I can, you can etch a little saying here for Father's Day gift. I got a, an idea from a friend, I'll give her credit. But she gave me this idea, and there's a saying that you can put on handles. It'd be an excellent photo to just give. So, 
not just for gifts for Father's Day things, but just an idea that you can actually do modification of this already provided because the holes are already there. And you're not just limited to the half inch. You now have so much more space this way than you did before. And you know now that you can take this tray out at any time. I'm just going to leave this tray loose like it is. You know, it's just not going to bother me. I'm not going to have a lot of pieces that I'm going to slam around. Or I can just take and drop the screws in the holes here and leave the nuts down below on the side here. They'll never be lost. Put them in a baggie, whatever. But you have now a lower tray to use. So if you have a laser engraver and it's something similar to this, you know you can now modify that. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.